this is Luna Nightshade again, and I'm working on just relaxing. Um, let's talk about music. I have to give a shout out to Roxanne Shante. She is the first, the best female MC that is around. I love her music. I've been trying to find on YouTube this song. I forget what's the title of it, but it go a little something like this. Uh, copyrights go to Roxanne Shante and her crew and whatever I don't I don't know what I gotta do with copyrights and all of that stuff but this is not my rap this is hers um, but she be like mother's home that's what I say and the reason why I say it in a very nasty way is because I gave y'all girls a chance and you can't even make the people dance girl you know I feel the shit Ever on stage, don't mention my name. Don't let them know that you learned from me. The S-H-A and the N-T-E. It took two of y'all, matter of fact, even four. And now I see it's gonna take much more of you to do what I do. And this is the reason why I'm telling you. When Shantae's in the place, give up the mic. Cause to rap on the mic is what I like. You best believe the things I say, don't you know you's not Shantae, the S-H-A and the N-T-E, five foot four or five foot three, I really could not tell you exact, but exactly girls you are whack, that song has been playing in my head this morning. And I just can't get over it. I love her. I need for it. It used to be on YouTube. I used to play it. I used to bump it. And then it got taken down. So I don't know, you know, how, why it got taken. But as I have been painting all, all morning, I've been thinking like, where is that song? And then it just hit me that while I was painting, I should have been like recording. So y'all could have seen how this picture developed uh, from start to finish. I still got to work in the sky, so whatever. But yeah, music. Music is the dopest way of getting your point across that's why athletes listen to music while they training and before they go into the tunnels before they start the game before, before they start the show that's why comedians use music before they just come out on stage music helps hype people music helps get people in the mic the right mind frame music is important it's super duper important it's super duper important i'm gonna say that one more again it's super duper important for us to honor musicians and that's why i understand copyright laws and everything like that y'all better pay these people give them their copyrights any industry okay since I'm a master manifester, I'm going to say this right now. Any industry that still has someone taking the rights of the artist and their creations, you should, you should never have more than 50% than the artist. The artist, every single time. Now, if the artist wants 100%, then you give the artist 100%. But the artist should never take less than 50% of the rights of 51 percent they should always have the, the 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 most profit off of their creations 
Why? Because they're fu- they're 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 creations. These are their creations. Anybody who steals, manipulates, or tricks an artist out of their rights to their works has their life shortened by how much they took from that artist. So I'm sure some of these execs is just gonna start dropping like flies as far as I'm concerned. Because that taking the rights of somebody else and claiming it is yours, when you, if there's energy in manifesting before there's the actual work that's being seen, like right now, this work is on this canvas right now. But there's also the work of it being developed in the mind that also needs to be compensated people have dreams and then it comes through oh no all of that needs to be compensated especially now that y'all got these marketing strategies that are uh, taking advertisement to the dreamscapes oh no and you're trying to make it use it but if that shit goes reverse because I done had y'all try to be in my mind and you serve certain ideas and it's not and, 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 and my spirit guides got a lock on that now they, they, they I mean people in boardrooms is dying y'all messing with people in the dreamscape because y'all don't know what y'all doing y'all not y'all don't have the rights to be going up and taking somebody's um mentors whatever you don't have the rights i don't care if you're manipulating for a contract you don't have the spiritual authority to go into somebody's mind and decide that you're gonna start moving shit around playing with stuff taking things and, and you, you you don't have the authority to do so it ain't your body it ain't your body you don't have access to do that and anyone who defiles a chosen one boundaries by going in there trying to manipulate trying to create a written contract so that they have access to that i don't care what you try to create that shit is null and void i don't care if they sign it or not i say it's null and void it's null and void you do not have the rights you do not have the rights now what you could do is learn how to work with that person to help cultivate that dream develop that dream and you could get a percentage but your percentage ain't gonna be more than theirs it's not i don't care how much money you put back into it there is an energetic energy that is far more expensive and expansive than the material 3d dollars that you put to back that idea to make it come true I'm sorry. The artist should always be the highest paid person in the room. Because without them, you have no dream. Simple as that. Simple as that. And that's now universal law. That's now universal law. You can't do it anymore. The manipulations to try to figure out a way to do it. If, if that's the way you operate it, you're booted out of this, this, this industry. How about that? You booted out the industry. How about that? Divine will boot you out this industry. How about that? We're not playing no more. We're not playing no more. We're not playing no more. So many people had their dreams scalpered, taken, due to somebody who don't have a talent. Or had, no, 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 excuse me. Has a talent to be a con artist. Put a long pause there because you got to think about it yeah you talented but you 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 talented in the wrong way you might think it's the right way but nobody should ever feel hoodwinked after encountering you and if people feel hoodwinked encountering you then, then you use a shitty person use a shitty person use a shitty person I couldn't imagine somebody feeling like they got hoodwinked because I worked with them and, and, and I didn't follow, follow suit on what I said I was going to be contributing. Now, there's a lot of haters out there that feel hoodwinked because I will not 
but that's because they was doing backdoor deals behind my back. I had no, I didn't have no say in what they were trying to do. They knew clear and well that they were they was trying to do some manipulative stuff. And, and so, no, 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 that don't count. When I put my hand together and work with somebody, I guarantee you that stuff is gonna be gold. I put my head together and work. We we sitting up there and we are manifesting together. I'm linking my mind to manifest with you. I'm linking. I am linking. I am not. You are coming in behind some kind of loophole and 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 and, 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 and tapping in and stealing. There's a difference. There's a difference. When I come in and I link with you, there is no reason for us to not make it but i know for a fact i know for a fact and anybody who knows me knows for a fact i don't just link up with anybody i link up with people who i know are going to produce results and if i feel you're not going to produce results or you're going to produce results in a dishonorable way i unlink so anybody who feels like i didn't fall through with their stuff they have to also at, at least tell the world tell the masses the reason why i unlinked because you can't be going around just disparaging my name saying oh she did x y and z and you don't tell folks what you did for why i stepped away because i don't just step away from nothing for nothing but i also don't agree with anything just for nothing But when I see a good idea, when I see somebody growing, when I see somebody trying to learn and, and expand and do something creative that's beautiful, come on, man. I be on it. I be on it. I be I be ready to see that, see that come through. Ready to see something new. Ready. But I ain't gonna be sitting there trying to hoodwink somebody to work with me, please. Please, I got so much energy to be working with myself. When I'm ready to work with somebody, I'm ready to work with, with somebody and, and, and see what is created. Not have an idea in my mind and say, okay, this is, you You fit this. And I, and I ain't never met you and I ain't had a, a chance to break bread with you, put my head together to create something. I do, I do small creations first before I give you a large creation. I want to see how well you create. I want to see your work ethic. I want to see your work ethic. I want to see, I want to see how you are when ain't nobody around. Because everybody can clearly tell by how much y'all been stalking me how I behave when ain't nobody around. So I want to see what you do when ain't nobody around. Are you wilding out? Are you wasting company time and company money? Because if you wasting company time and company money, you can't be a part of my company. And I'm not talking about just business. Like I'm talking about my presence, my company. You wasting time, you wasting money. Resources go can go a long way. I think about how much resources I could do if I would be given the right amount of resources, the proper amount. Without being breadcrumbed, I could be able to produce so much more. Better quality. But we got people out here, breadcrumbing good people, and they the ones that's wasting the money. Accountants wasting the money account i'm gonna say it again count wasting the money if you're an accountant man you got you got to you got to show and prove you to me i need to see your bank statements every fucking month every fucking month why because people who enjoy working with money they have to pass that greed demon and I need to know that you passed it. People who enjoy working with money, they gotta pass that greed demon.
and I need to know that you pass them by. Because there are certain people who work with money who don't like working with money. I'm, I'm a person who, who don't like working with money. I, I don't mind. I'm going to make sure it's straight. But it, 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 don't, it don't light up my life the way creation does. Why? Because currency come in many forms and fashions. Not just dollars. Currency come in so many different fashions. So many different fashions. I mean, come on, man. Before there was the dollar, we used to trade beans and rice resources. Before that, pebbles, flowers, geodes. Before that, trades, crafts. Currency come in a lot of fashions. So the lore of money and looking at how they changing the, the currency right now, they're trying to change the currency. I'm more concerned about how you act when you get the illusion of wealth. The illusion of wealth. People be going out their daggone mind. And if you're going to go out your mind, that means you're not going to be focused to do what you supposed to be doing. You're not going to do what you're supposed to be doing. Can't be on my team. Sorry. Can't be on my team. Sorry. Can't be on my team. Sorry. The way you behave outside of work is just as important to me as how you behave in work. I'm not asking for you to be perfect, but I'm asking for you not to be dealing with them, the, the seven deadlies. I don't need you to be envious. I mean, like, come on, man. Them things lead you to, them things go deep to the core. Them things, them demons take you out. Take you out. And when I say take you out, I'm not talking about just take your life. They take you out of character. They take you out of character. If you're going to be out of character, you don't need to play with me and my manifestation. You can do that on your own or elsewhere. You, don't, you ain't got to be attached to me. I don't want you attached to me. Because you can't control yourself. You can't control yourself. Your demons is going to be hounding me. I'm going to have to pay for your demons in some way, shape, or form. And that's what happens. Every addict's family has had to pay for the addict's demon. People got bills that they got pay, pay for because somebody in, uh, from, from an addict. People got, uh, nope, 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 nope. I ain't the one. We ice cube it. I ain't the one. gonna be funding people stuff every time somebody think they're getting over on me they be laughing and kiki and then all of a sudden boop, something tragic tragic everybody hates chris love it something about it something tragic happened in their life and then they be like did she do that no i didn't do that you did that <laughs> Y'all be so quick on this spell work. Y'all don't understand. Y'all y'all ain't learned nothing. Y'all read these books on hexes, but y'all ain't learning. It ain't in your soul. It ain't in your spirit. Because if you if you knew like I knew, you wouldn't be doing nothing like that. Nothing like that. Your stuff come back to you. Ain't nobody got to cash nothing to you. Your stuff come back to you. Go through the dark night of the soul. How 
do I go through the dark night of the soul? You just want to have a conversation with other people. When you go through the dark night of the soul, guess what? You by yourself. It ain't no conversation. If you biblical, Jesus is by himself for 40 days, 40 nights. Dealing with demons the whole time. Back to back to back to back. That's like Drake said. Back to back, back to back. For me, I've been going through this dark night for a couple of years. A couple of years. And the stuff that I have learned about myself. Some things that I have gone through through the dark night of the soul were from childhood bad things that I had done to other people. Bad things that I had done to other people. Nothing, nothing I did as an adult from childhood that I had to go through. And I took that shit on the chin. Like, okay. When, when, it, when it came through because let me tell you something karma will always show you after when you experience karma karma gives you a visualization of what you did for why you're experiencing exactly what you did that's why I be laughing when people be trying to claim that other folks is doing spell work on them because I know for a fact you know you done had the vision of what you did but you don't want to tell nobody so you just add an extra karma to yourself because you lying instead of saying I, I messed up and I did this you go and be like so and so did this to me and add to it and then you wonder why you get stuff coming back tenfold a hundredfold because you keep adding to the lie it's you, it's spirituality is nothing to be played with, y'all. It is nothing to be played with. You can fake your way into any kind of job except for this. This the one job you can't fake your way into. Spirit will grant you access to stuff just to show you you're the faker. Just to show you you're the faker. Just to show you you's a faker. That's what's so crazy about this. Spirit will grant you access just to show you you the faker. And they'll be like, do you still want to do this? And you better be honest. If you say yeah, then you better, you know the rules now. You know the rules. You say no. You get out. You get out. You get out that game. Because we playing with you. You're not playing with you. You're playing with people's lives. You're playing with their soul. You play. You, that, that's not. That, you don't play with these things. These things are not to be betted upon. These things are not to be played with. Somebody's soul is not to be played with bought or sold you do not have the right to buy or sell somebody's internal essence their divine essence no one has the right to buy or sell someone else's internal essence It's time for people to just be cool. Spend that alone time learning who you are. Spend that alone time learning who you could be. And learning who you can be is a beautiful thing. If you don't like who you are, change. People say it's not that easy to change. It is when your life depend on it. It is when your life depend on it. It is when your life depend on it.
that's why I when 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 we when you ever deal with people who have been gone through sicknesses, all of a sudden they ain't doing certain things no more. Why? Cause they life depend on it. I heard a comedian. I can't think of the dude's name, but um, he's an old school comedian. He always wear like like hats, like uh, fedora hats and stuff like that. He kind of dressed up in suits and stuff like that. I can't think of the man's name. I think it's like Byron something. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to it. But this comedian said he was on drugs so bad that he asked Divine, make me sick every time I'm around drugs. So that way I will never want to do them again. And Divine did that. Math, that was a manifestation of his. He said, I want to be so ill that I don't want to be around it. And that's what he did. And he made him ill around the old friends that he used to hang out with. That way they couldn't persuade him to go back down that, 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 that route. He got new friends now. And guess what? He a comedian and he making money. Once again, making money making money and he's not wasting his resources on death procedures because that's what it is when you be doing drugs you're wasting your resources on death and don't get me wrong i understand that they they, they trick you a lot of people get tricked into it from either family members 